We have reached the last video in our tech series and this is going to be 10 high paying jobs in the tech world that do not require any degree and they're in high demand. So if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscription subscription button. I knew I was going to stumble. Don't forget to hit that subscription button below and turn on the notification bell so you get a every single time I upload a video. Let's jump right into this thing. We're going to be starting off with software engineers. I know. I Don't worry. This list is not going to be just all like engineers. But my dog. Software engineers make on average about $116,000. You are going to require some sort of like experience or certification, although you may not require a formal degree from a school, right? Or like a college. Software engineers use analytical thinking and obviously their experience to build websites and apps for brands and businesses. A UX designer makes about $90,000 a year. And what they do is they really, you know, speak to the the consumer when they are crafting or designing certain things. They make sure that it is aesthetically pleasing, right? So when we see it in front of our TV screen or a computer or on in the target window. You know, that's how they get me. That was all part of UX design, you know, customer experience design. Front end engineers make about $81,000 a year. And what they do is they create the experience that we have on the front end side. They usually have some sort of experience with Java, CSS, HTML, things like that. So they're creating the site that we see up front, right? Front end. Then we have our back door, back end engineers. Back-end engineers make a little bit more. They make about $90,000 a year. <laughs> Back-end engineers work with the front engineers, of course, to create a cohesive experience, but they work more so on the back-end things that we do not see to make sure that the website is beautiful and functional. So they definitely work in conjunction with each other. Project managers on average make about $121,000 a year, and they pretty much oversee a project and their team. So they make sure communication is well. They're making sure that from front-end from front to end, beginning to end, customer service experience is kept in mind, all those things implemented to make sure that whatever the product it is that they're creating goes well upon launch. Enterprise architects make about $131,000 a year. And what they do is they create business plans and goals for a company, especially companies that are ready to launch really big projects. So they work closely with project managers as well in order to make sure that the you know launches are seamless and that the goals are being met. They have some sort of KPI, key performance indicators, in order to make sure that whatever they're working on is hitting the goals of the business. Information security engineers make about $110,000 and they are super crucial, especially now that the digital world is growing so vastly and so quickly. And what they're doing is they create security systems that support and make sure that our information is not being leaked, you know, any sensitive information that's being collected on a website or an app or in a program. And they're just ensuring that it's going safely and smoothly and preventing any, you know, hacking. Of course, things happen, but they are very crucial and important during this, this shift to remote digital life. Mobile engineers make about $94,000 a year and what their main key focus is to create a bomb, interactive, engaging, addicting mobile version of whatever their larger brand is. They also usually do like games and things like that. So they work really close with the Android, um, I know it's not iOS, but the Android platform. They work well with iOS as well and Java and all those things to create those addicting games or addicting apps that we stay on and that's their main goal. So they, they're they doing the Lord's work or the devil's work, hard to tell, hard to tell. Automation engineers make about $86,000 a year and they usually work in manufacturing or robotics and what they're doing is automating machines. <laughs> I mean, what they're doing is truly important but their, their title is essentially what they do. They automate machines, which is why they work in manufacturing and in robotics. A product designer makes about $104,000 a year. They wear many hats. They usually have some sort of experience in coding. They work closely with project managers because essentially the product that they're working to build is going to be managed by the project manager in order to come to our face, right? And really work well with user um, experience designers as, designers as well. So, you know, tech really intermingles a lot. A lot of the things overlap. So if you are interested in tech, I hope these high in demand jobs really tickled your fancy and help you get your foot into that door. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.